So there's some common mistakes that we typically see when it comes to stretching our flyers. Now, a lot of gyms will offer stretch classes or will make flyer specific stretching part of their practice while they're at the gym. Now, I've watched quite a few flyers get stretched over the years and there are some mistakes that are made that actually reinforce poor habits um, and can potentially set our flyers up for injuries. So in this video, we're gonna break down what those mistakes are, we're gonna show you why those can be detrimental and we're gonna show you exactly how you should properly stretch your flyers when trying to work on their body positions. So I've got Jaden with me, she is an incredible flyer and she's gonna be our demo for today when we talk about some of the mistakes that are made when we're, when we're stretching our flyers. So the primary area that we want to focus on and where the biggest mistakes are, are where our top girl, our flyer's hips are positioned during these stretches. A lot of times what will happen is when we get into these body positions and we start working on their flexibility, it's very easy for the athlete to kind of shift into a comfortable position, which a lot of times, takes away from the reason that we're doing these stretches in the first place. So as we're going through these, I want you to focus on where her hips are positioned to make sure that we're keeping them square and we're not allowing the hips to open, which would cheat the stretch and take away from the value of what we're working on. In order to appropriately stretch the things we need to for our body positions, it's very important that we are stretching in the proper way so that we don't cheat. The hamstrings can't stretch properly unless our hips are in the right position or we start to get some of the adductors in there as well. Additionally, we can't truly stretch the hip flexors appropriately unless our hips and thighs are in the right place. Without correcting these body positions, we begin to stretch the wrong muscles. So the first basic stretch that most cheer athletes, especially most flyers work on is their splits. Now this is a very easy stretch to, to see the mistakes that we make with our hips. So as you can see here, Jaden's opened up really wide, which is causing her to cheat the stretch. So we're getting, instead of a, an effective stretch on the front of the hip on the back leg, what, we're what we basically are doing is stretching the groin or the adductors. Now how this can be detrimental is when we're in the air pulling our heel stretch, this is going to translate to how she's holding her leg in the air, which will cause an unsteady um, or uneven stretch. So if we do have top girls that are struggling to maintain a heel stretch position, this could be a reason why. So one thing we want to focus on as we're looking at our athletes while they do their splits is, do we have this open hip? If we do, what we want to do is make sure that they're squaring their hips to the front, making sure that they're feeling the stretch deep in the front of that leg, not off to the side. And we wanna make sure that if they're unable to get all the way to the ground, that we let them know it's okay to lift the hips a bit so that the hips are squared back to the front. This will change where they're getting their stretch and will actually start to work on where they are deficit or where they have these restrictions in this body position. So the next step when we're working on these heel stretches is we'll see coaches that will do assisted body position stretching. A lot of times this is done with the flyer on a knee and sometimes it's done with the flyer standing. When we do the, the stretch with the flyer on the knee, in my opinion, this is a much more effective way to change that body position because we have less things to look at when we're on one knee. That leg that's down is bent, we're locked into the floor, so we're not really uh, being altered in our body position by the opposite leg. So one of the mistakes that we see in this position is our flyer will kick her leg up and we'll get out to the side, but that hip again is kicked open like this. So one thing we want to make sure is, even if it feels like we're going to the right position, make sure that our flyer is squaring her hips back to the front, not allowing to kick out. Because again, if she were standing now, we would be off center. So again, make sure that our hips are square to the front, make sure the leg is coming straight up and we're not letting that hip rock side to side, okay? So again, not open here, we square the hip to the front and then pull our heel stretch from here. Another body position that becomes problematic when our flexibility is off is when we get into our scales, scorpions, and our needles. Now, when we do these skills, a lot of times we will see athletes open the hip up to the front a little bit, which isn't necessarily problematic in and of itself. We just want to make sure that that open hip position is not the only place of stability that our flyer has because as we know, that body position with the open hip can throw us off balance. So when we do our scale, go ahead and pull your scale up. We see again, the hip can be open to the front slightly, but again, we want to make sure that when we're stretching for this skill, go ahead and come down, that we are teaching proper flexibility in the right areas. So what we can do is have our flyer grab onto our arm 
and lift straight up. Now, we have the hip open here, and what we'd want to do is close it towards the floor, and from there, we're gonna work on stretching our flexibility. From here, we can modify how deep our chest is going down. We can also modify how far the leg is going up, and we're keeping our flyer in a safe position and also improving balance by keeping the hips square, which will put her body weight in the right place, and effectively working on the flexibility. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you found this information helpful or beneficial, give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear if you are also working on these skills. If you would like more videos like this, click on the link above. And if you haven't already, stop being silly, subscribe to the channel right here, click the bell for notifications so that you stay up to date with our latest videos.